Hello guys, so today in this video I'm going to show you how I basically modified the EM1 or whatever EJ8 and EM1 side skirts to fit a EG coupe better. So anybody that's ever done this, you know like the coupe body line is straight whereas the EKs, the fenders kind of flare out. You end up having the gap right at the end of the fender or yeah, at the end of the fender where you can kind of see into this hole and it just kind of looks funky. So what I did was cut this down, basically cut a, like a quarter inch gap in there, pull it together and use some uh, putty to fill that in. And I'm going to show you how to do that on this one. The stuff you'll need to do that is either JB Weld plastic bonder or you can use the Bondo repair kit. Now this repair kit, they cost the same. You can see this is uh, 0.85 ounce, this is 0.34, so you get over double in this one, but the Bondo kit comes with uh, this mesh, and it's very important to have that mesh. Oh, spider. Um, so, you know, it's kind of up to you. Um, if you go buy this at O'Reilly's, it's like 15 or 16 dollars, but if you get it at Walmart or Amazon, it's only five dollars. Uh, in addition to these, you'll need somewhere to mix the, the putty. Um, I've got my mixing board here for uh, Bondo, so I'll use that. And you need something to cut the plastic with. I just use this saw here, multi tool, and that's it. Um, so let's get started. So, in preparation here, we're about to make our cuts or, you know, possible cuts. This one, I kind of just freehanded. I figured, you know, what gap I wanted and just cut it. Didn't measure anything. It turned out okay. It turned out pretty good, but so, but I wanted this one to match the other. So we're gonna measure just across the flat. We have five and a half here. This one we have four, four and seven eighths. So we're basically gonna cut a five eighth inch slit out of the back of this. And I will show you how I did that with a chalk pen. On the back side, you'll want to basically draw a line on the inside of the curve, just on the inside of the curve, which is about right here. Uh, this is about seven inches. So start seven inches back and follow the curve of this, uh, I guess you call it body line, around. And then once you have that, you mark your 5 8 inch down and you would draw a straight line across. Okay, so you see uh, I went in, marked seven inches down this way, and this way, and drew a straight line all the way back. Then came in five eighths, or out five eighths, and marked the line. And then basically just follow the, the curve out, out, and around. You notice back here it's uh, far less of a cut because this part of the panel is almost almost straight so we don't want to have a, a big dip in like I guess in and then back out so just be aware of that and when you're cutting this cut on the inside of that line and then measure it and just if it feels if it doesn't feel right then cut off a little more just keep doing that back and forth and then in here down here um, you'll see on this one I drilled a little hole right here and used a zip tie once I cut this line out right here and right here I'll drill that hole and oh, this is going to be a terrible video guys uh, like I said drill that hole there and then I can use a zip tie to basically pull these together and that will hold it in place while the uh, Bondo or whatever the hell this stuff's called uh, cures so now that we've got our markings cut out, we need to find a way to hold this together. So to do that, you'll see here, basically we, we get this little indention right there, drill a hole on the other side of that, and use a zip tie to hold it together. Um, we need to clear out, clean out the burrs so that the plastic bonder will hold, and we have less sanding, but I'll, do, I'll drill the hole, get this together, and show you before I apply the plastic bonder. So we have, uh, basically we wipe down the inside, 
sanded it, <clears throat> we used our zip tie on the end, and this is the gap that we have at the end of the part. You see it still does kick out just a hair, but that's okay. And we are now going to apply the plastic bond and finish this up. So we just spread on the uh, <clears throat> plastic bond. This is the JB Weld brand. Full disclosure, the uh, Bondo brand, I think spread way better. It comes with a, a good applicator. This just came with a little stick and it is not very good. So um, my advice, if you have something to spread it with, this might be good. Also notice this is a lot thinner than the Bondo brand, even after mixing thoroughly. So that is something to be aware of as well. Um, maybe I can show you on the back side. Maybe, I don't know, can you really see the mesh that I put in there? So that's it. So this is after a few hours of curing. It's ready to be sanded. I'm gonna hit it with 120 first, knock down all the high spots, and then uh, with 220, and we will be ready for primer. So you see here, I basically sanded all that, <clears throat> sanded it down. Hit it with some primer, seen some bad spots, and then sanded it back down. Um, probably not gonna finish the primer work right now because I have to finish doing the rest of the bumper. But anyways, you can at least see the what, what happens here. So it, it looks pretty good. You can barely even tell that I cut it right there. Um, but again, back to the, uh, the stuff that we used. As much as I want to tell you to use JB Weld, I'm gonna have to tell you I would go with the Bondo repair kit. Um, if you can find like a bigger kit, definitely do that or buy two of these, one for each side skirt because for one you get the, the mesh and you get a spreader, like a little mini spreader, it's maybe half the size of this one to spread it on there. You don't just have to use a stick and <clears throat> it is a lot more I guess the, the material is thicker. This is almost like a water type of resin. It takes, it's just real sloppy putting it on. This kind of goes on like a body filler and it's, it's really thick. And uh, this stuff here, let me show you why I won't recommend this. It could be my fault, it could be user error. But <clears throat> I filled these holes with this and let it dry and it just peeled right out um, I did you know so maybe I didn't sand it enough so I'm going to sand them again and try it again but uh, for at least for now I don't recommend using this I recommend using the Bondo kit but that is all for this video um, thanks for watching uh, if you want to follow the build on the car uh, you can see it's a big piece of crap right now, but we're going to be working on putting on a new core support in upcoming videos and working on getting body work done. But anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next 